Dr. Eric R. Pianca. Uh, he's known as Dr. Lizard. He's an expert on uh, lizards and other uh, other reptoids, I guess. And this guy is just a real piece of work. In fact, there's no way to give you the full magnitude of the disgusting nature uh, of this individual. But I thought it was important uh, with our guest, who's filed complaints and been speaking out against this, Forrest M. Mims, is chairman of the Environmental Science Section, the Texas Academy of Science, and, and he was there with others witnessing this a month ago at, uh, at Lamar University uh, at their annual meeting. And then after he gives this sickening speech, he goes and is given Distinguished Scientist of the Year by the Texas Academy of Sciences. Uh, but, sir, let's go over some of the other key points here of uh, what we're facing uh, with this individual. Well, uh, you know, the, the problem is, 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 is much bigger than this because he's in, essentially acquiesced in by the Texas Academy of Science. They are not answering my emails if they promptly withdraw this award. It's a real tragedy. And the, uh, uh, Dr. Sean Carlson, who is the MacArthur Fellow and the director and executive and founder of the Society for Amateur Sciences, has written a harsh editorial about this, demanding that people do something, notify the United States Air Force Academy where the professor... The president of our academy is a visiting guest, uh, distinguished professor, who demand that they answer my letters. Notify the regents of the University of Texas and ask them what they think about this. I agree, and this individual is right here at UT Austin, uh, and of course he's uh, got several scientific degrees and PhDs uh, uh, in environmental ecology, and, and 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 also he talks a lot about walling off resources, sustainability, walling human species up basically in prisons. Uh, he's a real monster, you know, uh, Mr. Mims. Why doesn't he line up first if we all need to die and go ahead and kill himself? Well, he said at one point in the speech after the airborne Ebola attacks us that he said, I might have to go. <laughs> he wants, I accused him in a letter that he wants to use a disease that kills only Africans. And he wrote back and he said, no, no, he's, he's for everybody going. He, he, he doesn't want to be racially prejudiced. He wants an equal opportunity killer virus. Now, the Associated Press, you talked to them. This is extremely newsworthy. They spiked your story. Well, they, actually, the Seguin Gazette Enterprise had a page one story yesterday on Sunday morning outstanding story by Jamie Mobley. They would not carry her story. I called and asked why. They said, uh, uh, we can't carry such an important story if it's just done by a small-town newspaper. These people are part of the dark ages of the media. They real need to realize that it's radio and the web that are carrying the ball, and the newspapers are, 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 are they're way behind the times. The Associated Press said they would call today. They haven't called. Well, let me make it uh, clear, Chairman, that I believe you're going to become fully educated in the very near future. Uh, there is an official CIA program implemented by the State Department in 73 to order countries to forcibly sterilize half their women. There are official World Health Organization papers and UN Food Summit meetings where they say they're going to kill 85 to 95 percent of us. Uh, this is, uh, there are major Australian newspaper articles about plans uh, to spray Asia and forcibly sterilize or kill them. Uh, so this is, I mean, you notice that the majority of these professors and scientists were praising him and that the Academy is giving him the highest award and won't retract, that's because, sir, he is just speaking out loud what these people say at cocktail parties. Well, let me, I can tell you exactly what he said. I don't know about any of those documents you, you cited, but I will tell you what Bianca said. Quote, we need to sterilize everybody on the earth. And then there was laughter. And make the antidote freely available to anybody who's willing to work for it. Unquote. Those are, those are from the recording that was made during his speech. And then he praised China's one-child policy. Oh, yeah. He said he praised it. He said that only... Well, I can read that to you. Uh, he, he said that's because of the police state in China. China was able to turn the corner and become the new superpower in the world because they have a police state and they can force people to stop reproducing. That's the only reason they were able to turn the corner. Unquote. Now let me stop you, Chairman, right there, because, again, I use the analogy of the transatlantic slave trade. They dehumanized the Africans and said they weren't human. This is really the elite of today, these Malthusian social Darwinists. Uh, this is really their salve or excuse to engage in massive, abusive social engineering and to control any type of population they wish. This is, I mean, every time I read position 
Washington papers about a new world order, a police state, a control grid. They use this as an excuse, oh, we're saving the earth. We've got to take everybody's freedoms to do this. So really, this is a, a glue, that, a, a cement that seems to hold together uh, authoritarians' uh, worldview everywhere. And look, Hitler said the same thing. Well, the big difference is Hitler only wanted to kill a few million people. This guy wants to kill five and a half billion people. Hitler was a piker by comparison. Actually, at six and a half billion, that would be five billion nine hundred million. Right. You're right. Ninety percent. And by the way, he didn't present any scientific data. So some of us have asked him, why not kill 88 percent? Why not kill 93 percent? That's a key point, Chairman. Let me add something to that. I, we have links on the story. We, uh, we wrote about this on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com, where we link to the U.N.'s own reports and the U.S. government's own reports that the industrialized world is in negative population decline. The U.S. is at 3% growth only because of a massive influx of immigrant and migrant uh, uh, movements from the third world. And once a country industrializes, within a generation, we actually see an average of a 1.6 child rate uh, per uh, man and woman uh, household. So the West is actually in decline, and we see that trend even in areas of Asia like Japan and uh, uh, South Korea. That have not, uh, uh, and, and the UN admits we're going to peak at nine billion and begin declining even at current numbers. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. I read those stories. What, since you mentioned the UN, uh, it might be good to have a look at the Genocide Convention of the United States, to which the United States is a sign uh, of the United Nations, to which the U.S. is a signatory, which prohibits incitement to genocide and requires all signatories to punish any individual who incites against genocide. If this isn't inciting to, to mass genocide, I don't know what is. Well, I, I tend to agree with you. This is unbelievable. Uh, where is this going? I mean, I'd like to have you to town, have you in studio for the TV show. I'd like to go down and pick at UT. If they won't even let us on the grounds, we can't get a student group. We need to just do it right off the grounds. We need to have a massive demonstration in, in a few months demanding that this uh, lunatic be removed. 